It doesn't look like a bird that could upset anyone, but that's exactly what it does. While not quite the bald eagle, the lesser-known sage-grouse is one of the US's rare birds, and it's found itself at the centre of a battle in the American West between the federal government and local cattle ranchers. It's a conflict that reflects the growing populist anger of this election year. The battle is most pronounced here in Nevada, where ranchers, a pillar of the regional economy, clash with Washington, D.C., because the federal government owns nearly nine-tenths of the land. That means most ranchers have no choice but to lease some pasture for their cows from the government, and that subjects them to a varying list of demands that are designed to protect the sage-grouse. They, they can, at a whim, uh, ask us to vacate the public land um, for no other reason other than um, just get off. Um, with very little scientific data to back it, but that's one of the perils we face being out here. This is sagebrush, one of the chief concerns of the federal government. It's a plant that the sage grouse relies on for food and shelter, and the bureaucrats say their rules are necessary to stop cows from overgrazing and destroying it. Uh, you know, a lot of the groups would just as soon not have anybody paying attention. Um, you know, I, I'm not saying that's good or bad for the landscape, but, you know, sometimes if things aren't regulated or checked, um, you may end up with things that you don't like. Sage grouse is an indicator of land health. So it's not just the bird itself. That's just an indicator of the health of the land. If one species disappears across the landscape, that tells us that we have problems out there. The federal government says it's managing the land for all Americans, not just for ranchers, but for people like hikers and campers too. The ranchers, however, say that the government's Bureau of Land Management has been hijacked by environmentalists who want to see cows banished from federal land entirely. And tell them that we're all going to use it together. Get rid of this political correctness that one entity is more important than the cattle industry on public lands. We're all equal together on here and we all need to have the ability to stay here and use the land properly. With few signs of Barack Obama looking for a resolution, this conflict is one that the next American president is going to have to handle. Barney Jobson, Financial Times, Nevada.